from the last two videos we are discussing about seal verification using markov analysis so in last two videos we have discussed about the states and state matrix transition matrix and we have also dis uh, discussed and calculated the vfd average value uh, for one out of one configuration for one out of two configuration so we have done pfd average calculation on an uh, for an initiator maybe and the same uh, is applicable for final element or logic solver so in this particular lecture i am going to discuss how to do the complete seal verification of a safety instrumented function using the markov analysis and ultimately how you will be uh, getting the total pfd average value of the loop how you can calculate the risk reduction factor and uh, how you can calculate the availability of that particular loop so in this lecture i will take the same example for which we have done hajob after that we have done lopa and we have done seal verification using simplified equations so we will be doing the same thing uh, and in this case with the help of markov analysis right so let's begin so this is the simple loop if you are uh, i mean for the recap this is a uh, hp separator in which the feed flow is coming and this is ultimately going to the drain and uh, the level is critical level of hp separator if it uh, goes high it will overflow and some other incidents happen so in this case our safety loop is this one so it consists of a initiator and a logic solver and a final element initiator in this case is a level switch logic solver is a safety plc and final element is on of valve so for the sake of simplicity we are taking that initiator is in one out of one configuration logic solver is also one out of one configuration and final element is also one out of one configuration so let's define the states of the initiator and the same will be uh, used for the final elements also so so if we can consider that uh, initially it is in the work is equal to zero state it can transition to either fail safe state or fail dangerous detected state or fail dangerous undetected state which are denoted by one two three respectively now the probability of going from zero state to one state is denoted by the failure rate and this is a combination of uh, safe detected and safe undetected right similarly uh, there are failure rates for dangerous detected and there are failure rates for dangerous undetected so if we want to draw uh, the transition matrix how it will be so this uh, denoting the states so in this direction also states in this direction also there is states right so what is the probability of going from 0 to 1 it is uh, given by this lambda s similarly the probability of going 0 to 2 is uh, given by lambda dd and 0 to 3 is given by lambda du right so and these states are like absorbing state uh, it there is no repair is possible these items are not repairable and they cannot transition from like fail safe state to fail dangerous detected state or fail safe to fail dangerous undetected state so that's why uh, the probability of going from 1 to 0 or 2 to 0 3 to 0 or hopping between 1 to 3 is not possible that's make this all this as zero this is also zero this is zero and this portion is zero now again if this means that if you are one state you cannot go to the any other state so if you come 
to one state you will forever remain in one state only right so that's why so probability of going state 1 to state 1 is always 1 probability of going state 2 to state 2 is always 1 and probability of going state 3 to state 3 is always 1 right so and and if and what is the probability of remaining at the zero so obviously it will be 1 minus lambda s plus lambda dd plus lambda du so this value is reflective here okay now we have this transition matrix and we have the states we have the four states so this is the state matrix also we have and we have the transition matrix also so we can do the matrix multiplication and uh, we can tabulate the result in the form of the excel right so this is the four states states are denoted in this direction and time is denoted as this direction so time in in hours as the failure rates are also we have taken in per hour basis so we can do calculation and we know that one year is equal to 8760 hours so if we want to know that what is the probability of the state 1 or state 0 after one year so we have to run this calculation for 8760 iterations and after 8760 iteration we get the value of the pfd average so this is the pfd average for initiator right so this is the pfd average value for the initiator similarly uh, we can get the pfd average value for the final element so this is for final element so we can use the same thing if we, we assume that the transition is possible in this way only like one two and three uh, but one aspect that is missing here is repairability so normally there are repair is possible at least from fail safe state and fail dangerous detected state uh, so in these two cases we can consider repair but for the sake of simplicity we have not considered here only thing that will change here is uh, like there will be some value that will be adding in the ok state so from 1 to 0 2 to 0 it is possible and this uh, zero state will be higher probability right so that portion uh, is missing here okay but uh, this calculation is more conservative in a way you can say right so so we have calculated the pfd average value of the final element we have calculated pfd average value of the initiator similarly we can to calculate the pfd average value of the logic solver so if we get the pfd average value of the all three components we can get the pfd average value of the sieve as they are this all these components are in series then we have to multiply their pfd average value and this is the pfd final pfd average value of the sieve loop that we are getting right so this if this is the pfd average value loop uh, availability will be always 1 minus the PFD average into 100 so it will come uh, coming out as a 99.9% .9 and risk reduction value is 1 by PFD average so it is coming at 767 so we know that uh, if a loop is RR value is 10 to 100 then it is still 1 and if it is like 100, uh, 100 to 1000 range then <coughs> it is sealed to and then 1000 to 10,000 it is sealed 3 right so as in this case we are getting 767 so we can consider this particular loop sealed to from pfd average perspective but there are other two things that needs to be considered before we can declare the loop as a seal to that is we need to consider the hardware fault tolerance hft and the systematic capability so depending on uh, these two uh, we can declare whether the loop is uh, seal 2 or seal 3 or seal 1 right 
So in this way, in this simplified way doing Markov analysis, you can calculate the seal level and that too without any um, sophisticated software like Excel Insha or seal solver, you can do it everything with the help of an Excel simple tool like Excel or you can calculate manually also. So hope you have uh, understood the Markov analysis and how to do seal verification using Markov analysis to try to do it in on your own and check your calculations. So if you have any doubts, you can write to me. Thank you.